Okay, so uh, now we will proceed with the build up of this porcelain bridge. I have set already my, my brushes inside my drawer and I have a position so you can recognize what I am using. Number 8, number 6, number 4, number 2. I have mixed my porcelains, A2 opacious, A2 body. D2, plain D2, D3, okay? So, I'm going to start from my AquaTrack model. Here it is. And I'm going to isolate these areas where I will start just putting some plain water right here over the gypsum. Okay. Once I've done this, I'm going to get just some plain tissue, nothing special. And I'm going to trim off, just cut off a piece of this tissue, which I will use to put my porcelain. over it so it will not stick to the gypsum. You see I have modeled it around this edentulous area. Now again with my brush and some water I just have it stick this way right here. Okay nice and right over it. Some people use oil but I'll rather use water. Water and tissue. Very inexpensive and it works. Here's another piece of tissue. Here we are. Now uh, you will start I will I will start working with this uh, with this model because it's not involved with any kind of occlusion it's just involved with plain contouring and especially on establishing some gingival contacts. So, from here I take 
my caulkers. And, uh, here's my bridge. First thing I will do, I'm going to put my uh, my body, my A2 opacious body, right in these areas that will be in contact with my model. Or we can say with the tissue, with the paper tissue that has been placed over the gingival areas of the model. Okay, so this is, let me see if I can, uh, this is as much as I put, not much more, because at this point what I will be doing is pressing. There we are. And I want to make sure that when I press it, it's not too lifted. Here we are. Press and off. I'm off with my coker now. What I can do is hold it down this way. And I have established at this point the height. And the space filled with the porcelain. Okay, once I've done this, I still go with the opacious body. I'm using my eight, number eight brush over this areas. Just like this. canine I'm going to be putting my D3 you can see the D3 the yellow it's different right up here right up in this collar area just as I saw on the picture okay so this is going to be just perfect to determine uh, separation of color on the D3 uh, now before drying I am going to get involved with the lingual aspect and I will be adding steel here in the lingual side of this case. Always opacious body. Right down here. Okay, I've been working all my way through with the brush number eight, and uh, that's about it so far. Okay, now I'm going to start drying a little bit this area. That's going to be easy because all I do is uh, put my tissue and look from the back if my uh, porcelain is drying out, and it does. That's it. Okay, this is my first drawing. You could look 